Hey everybody, it's Matt from The House, and uh, you know we got a lot of great products from all of our companies, uh, but in this video we're gonna show you a few of our favorites from Weston for the 2021 season. Let's check these things out. You know, right off the bat, you know, when, uh, when I look at these things, I kinda, I get this feeling like I need to be out in the woods, you know, like I, I actually wore this shirt today specifically for this video, because I, you know, I feel like Everybody that rides a Westin is a lumberjack with a beard out to here. And uh, uh, definitely a cool aesthetic that, uh, you know, comes with their uh, with their boards and obviously with the look and everything. Um, but first up, we're going to check out this uh, Westin Timber. Um, so this board's going to be kind of like your all-mountain board. You can ride it in the park, ride it in the pow, ride it everywhere. Um, we've got a twin tip shape. Um, graphic is kind of cool too, where you really can't tell, you know, what the nose and tail is. So, um, you know, just gives it a good look as well as, uh, you know, kind of calling out the fact that it is a twin. Um, it is a rocker in the middle to camber into your feet, to rocker in the nose and the tail. So you, you get that nice, easy catch free feel. Gives you a nice floaty feel as well, but you're still getting that extra power um, underneath your feet. Um, a little bit more spring and, and, and zip in and out of turns too. Um, another cool thing about this board is that with the mid flex it actually has a triaxle fiberglass and a centered base um, and for the price of this board at the $400 range um, you actually get a pretty good bang for your buck on this board but uh, yeah price is right ride it anywhere um, kind of great way to get into Weston all right next up from Weston uh, for a free ride board we're gonna check out the, uh, the backwoods um, you know right off the bat you can obviously see this thing is a fully directional shape uh, so, you know, you could still ride it switch a little bit, but it's for that guy that just wants to go fast and dig trenches all day long. Um, you know, that extra wide nose and the little extra length in the nose is gonna give you a little more float. Um, and then obviously a little bit narrower, smaller tail is gonna give you a little sink. So it kind of puts that board in that right position when you do get into some pow. Um, this one is definitely a little bit more of a mid to stiff range. I'd say on a scale of one to 10, we're looking around a seven. Um, so something you can really rail hard on this thing. You can push hard on it. You can carve, go fast, um, and it's gonna dig in really, really well. Um, it is a uh, camber to rocker, so we got a little bit in the tail. We definitely have got more in the nose for that extra float, but you're still getting all that power in between your feet, uh, pushing you in and out of your turns. Um, and then uh, still get that little bit of that catch-free feel and a little added float when you do get into some deep stuff. Um, it is a Triax fiberglass with a centered base, so uh, you're getting that power along the board, but also edge to edge. Um, and then another cool thing about this one is they're actually doing a carbon V in the tail. So they actually do a couple strips of carbon in the tail to kind of uh, sturdy up the tail a little bit, give you a little more push in and out of your turns, and also make sure that it's not going to mush too much and help keep you up on top of that deep snow. So uh, if you like to go fast and charge hard, um, this is definitely a great board for you. All right, last up, we're gonna check out the Japao. So it's pretty much right in the name, Japan and Powder. And if you've never seen, go ahead and Google right now. Japan, Powder. Japan, Powder. And be amazed. If you do know, then you know exactly what this board is for. Um, so obviously we got a nice swallowtail on this thing, big taper on the, as well, where we've got a much wider nose than tail. So um, obviously we've got longer nose, makes the nose sit up, wider nose, nose sits up, shorter tail, swallow, narrower. Everything about this board wants to get the nose up and the tail down so you can laugh all day um, and not have to lean back while you're riding, you know, no matter how deep the powder is. Um, so pretty cool thing to this board. We're doing a triaxle fiberglass. We're doing a centered base, which is pretty standard on um, most of the Western boards. Um, and then they're also doing the carbon in the tail as well. So um, with these swallow tails, they can obviously, since there's less material, it can obviously soften up a little bit. Um, but by doing that carbon in there, it just helps sturdy up that tail and kind of give it a little bit more of a, a standard feel of a, of a regular board, um, but still allowing them to get that swallow in there. So you don't have to have your leg burning at the end of the, end of the you know, nice deep pow day. Um, so you want to go out and basically rip pow all day long, but if there isn't any pow, you still want to be able to, you know, charge on groomers and stuff. This thing actually holds its own. It's kind of that, that one good board that somebody, you know, really wants to spend most of their time hitting pow, but uh, um, you know, still want something that can, you know, do things other than that. 
All right, thanks for checking out some of our favorites from Weston for the 2021 season. You want to check out these boards and all the Weston boards, head over to thehouse.com. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Get that bell on to find out when we got uh, new videos popping up. Um, if you got any questions about these boards or any boards, just leave some comments down below. We're on there every day uh, trying to answer all your questions to you know, get you in that best gear possible for your you know, riding style. Um, and definitely get out and ride. Whether you got power, woods, or anything, get out and ride because any day of ride is a good day of ride.